Good afternoon, all my Scolgers. Uh, happy Saturday, snowy Saturday for all of us down in the Twin Cities area in Minnesota. Welcome to the 13th installment of Zafa Talk, and today's episode is going to be just, I'm going to keep it shorter. It's going to be a little bit, a little sad, sad installment here because there's really not much good things to talk about. Um, for those who watched or listened to the last episode of the Skull and Bolts podcast, we uh, briefly touched Eric Kendricks with the Vikings. No more. You know, we saw it common. A lot of us did. So it, it's definitely not like a surprise, but it still hurts to see. You know, he was such a vital piece of our defense with the, the Mike Zimmer era and has been one of the better linebackers in the NFL during his his prime stretch there. Definitely lost a step here and just with the, you know, the cap, we all knew it was, it was kind of heading in that direction, but it sucked to see. And then we also talked about the possibility of uh, moving on from one Adam Thielen. And I I touched on it being potentially a post-June 1st move that we would make, but said that there was a chance it could happen in the coming days. Well, the coming days was the very next day. Mr. Minnesota himself, Adam Thielen... Unfortunately, was cut from the team, was released. Again, another move that we saw coming with what he was owed and what he's bringing to the table at this point at 32 years old. It, it, it made sense. It was the right move from a financial standpoint, standpoint but... Us Vikings fans are always going to have a very special spot in our hearts for him. We all know the story. You know, Detroit Lakes boy, Minnesota State College, you know, undrafted, tried out for the team, made the special teams, excelled there, got an opportunity at wide receiver, and then just flourished for us. Flourished. And I mean... Had a fantastic career with the Vikings at wide receiver. Finished his time here with 534 receptions, which I believe is good for fourth all-time. 6,682 yards. Uh, 55 touchdowns, which I believe goes third all-time in team history. So, obviously just such a fun player to watch. We all know what he was able to do, especially in that, you know, couple years there 2017 and 2018 2017 the magical year with case keenum 91 catches 1200 yards almost 1300 and a slow year with the touchdowns only four touchdowns and then 2018 113 catches career high for him almost 1400 yards nine touchdowns 2020 14 touchdowns 2021 10 touchdowns this past season, 70 catches, 716 yards, so a little bit of a slower year for him. Um, six touchdowns on the year. His last Minnesota touchdown coming in Chicago in the final game of the regular season. And a special, special player. Someone that we all had the joy and privilege of watching for his time here. And he's basically, you know, the Joe Maurer of the Minnesota Vikings. We'll always have that love for him. The only difference is Joe Maurer played his whole career here. Adam Thielen at 32 years old still has something left to give. Um, I don't know where he's going to go. Uh, as someone who's a major fan of him, I would love to see him go compete with like Kansas City. That's personal, like my opinion. I would, I would be thrilled to see him go chase a ring with the Chiefs or something. I think Mahomes would love him. I also mentioned it on the Skull and Bolts podcast. If you have not listened to that, uh, came out two days ago. You know, please go listen to it, watch it on YouTube, like it, subscribe, listen on Spotify, leave us a five star review. But I also mentioned with the, you know, what looks like the very real possibility of Aaron Rodgers going to the New York Jets, knowing that 
him and Aaron Rodgers are good buddies. Could see him maybe following and uh, joining up with Aaron there. They did release Braxton Berrios, free up a little bit of spot. I mean, Garrett Wilson, wide receiver one out there. You know, you'd have Adam Thielen. Um, I, I, I think they're still rolling with Tyler Conklin, so a little reunion there for the two of them. That's just things that are going to be rain, remain to be seen in the, you know, next coming weeks. But regardless of where he goes, um, Adam Thielen, thank you for all that you've done for this organization, the great memories, for playing your heart out. Forever a fan, I will always be an Adam Thielen fan. You know, they don't get much better than him. You know, wasn't ever supposed to be in the NFL. Two-time Pro Bowler. I, I think he made an All-Pro even. And, you know, going to go down as one of the better wide receivers in Minnesota Vikings history. So, shout out to him for that. Hope that uh, he goes and gets an opportunity to contend. Not saying that, you know, he could lose to us in the Super Bowl, which would be... That would sting for him, but it'd be great for us. So... You know, that's all I have to say. Uh, big shout out to Adam Thielen for everything he gave to our franchise. And then I was gonna, I was gonna do this episode I, when I woke up this morning. That was my thought. I'm like, okay, got to talk about Adam Thielen. I was like, I could do the whole episode on Adam Thielen. I could have stretched this out, but fortunately, uh, today also came the news that uh, earlier this, this morning. At 95 years of age, Minnesota legend Bud Grant passed away, unfortunately. And uh, I want to show this here. This is actually one of my uh, more favorite autographs. And I'm not just saying that because of the circumstances today. But I've had this for essentially my entire life. My dad got this for me, so that kind of makes it even more special. Uh, after losing my father back in December... This one, you know, really sticks. So you can kind of see it. Sorry for the glare, but it does say to Bodie, which is my name. So pretty cool. That's on my, my wall right here at all times. So especially on a day like today, you know, pretty, pretty cool autograph to have. And 95 years old, Bud Grant lived a very long, successful life. Um, you know, prayers out to his family, to other friends, members of the organization who knew him. A lot of great, great Twitter posts today from former players or current players in the organization, coaching staff, ownership. It's, it's some really, really nice posts to see in his honor. And I think most people would probably agree that, um, like, I was obviously not alive back when the uh, the Super Bowl era for the Vikings back in that time. I'm too young for that. So one of those memories that stick out to, to us, and I'm sure to everyone, has got to be the 2015 playoff game at Huntington Bank Stadium. I mean, 25 below wind chill, one of the coldest games in NFL playoff history, and, you know... Good old Bud Grant in his, his polo t-shirt walking out to midfield for the coin toss. I mean, doesn't get much more badass than that, in my opinion. Pretty awesome to see. And uh, so, yeah, we lost a legend today in Minnesota. And it just kind of puts a cap on, you know, the last week or so of, you know, it being, you know, a little bit like a little more down in the the Minnesota Vikings world for the time being. But. Obviously, nothing sadder than losing a legend like Coach Grant. And um, he'll forever have a place in the hearts of Vikings fans in this franchise. So rest in peace to Bud Grant and prayers to his family for navigating through this time. Before I head out, um, one more, you know, one more kick back to Adam Thielen. Um, I did see some. Some more posts, um, specifically from KJ Osborne, who um, seems like he really looked up to Adam Thielen. How could you not? Seems like they had a great bond, and uh, it was great to see a little tribute from KJ to Thielen. 
a little, a little sad to see, but you know, it's the impact that Adam Thielen as a leader left on this, this team will, uh, will definitely be a hard hole to fill. And same with Eric Kendricks, um, great leader leads by example. So the Vikings are missing a couple key veteran leaders and, you know, Things that had to be done, but they have to try and fill that role now. And there's there's potentially more coming. We don't know yet what to expect with Harrison Smith, if that's going to be another move that we make. Dalvin Cook, there's rumors of trade offers on him to more leaders, especially in Harrison Smith. So it's going to be a crucial next few weeks, next few months for the Vikings draft coming up in, what, a little over a month or so. We'll have to see where we go with that i'm gonna put my faith in our general manager that he knows what he's doing he's he's doing you know what we need to do i think we gotta gotta get younger and improve you know we gotta move on from from the past and as sad as it is to see guys go it's not goodbye it's see you later surely adam thielen is definitely going to be in the ring of honor for the vikings i could see eric kendrick's making it Harry, he will 100% be in it if he ends up leaving. So it's not goodbye. It's see you later. And, you know, got to move forward. Got to move forward. That's kind of the theme right now. So that's really all I got for this episode. You know, sad week. You know, especially a sad day losing Bud Grant today. So, you know, hug your loved ones. You know, tell tell them that you love them, because you never know. And uh, moving forward, you know, let's see what we what kind of moves we can make and look to the future. So, I'll see you next time, all my scolders. Keep an eye out for the next Skull and Bolts podcast here on YouTube, YouTube as well as Spotify. And uh, we've been doing some some hockey talk as well as more football content that we need to discuss. There were some other football stuff. Like big moves made, primarily one within the division that I'm not going to, I'm going to save for the Skull and Bolts podcast. I'm not going to mention it here. Me and Cactus, we'll talk about that uh, next, in the next few days or next week when we uh, get another episode out. So I hope to see you guys there. Leave a like on the video, subscribe if you have not, and we will see you soon. All right, peace.